Oh, oh, that's perfect. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back to the next episode. Um, yeah, so just kind of doing a bit of um repair after that nasty creepers blew up my base. Oh uh, yeah. So uh, I believe uh, full moon is a good time to go fishing. Uh, I should probably really secure this place and not fish like this. Also, those squids are... Actually, no, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be fishing. This is too dangerous. Uh... That doesn't catch on fire, does it? Oh, I hope not. Yeah, so we're pretty much just... Like, repairing the damages that that stinky creeper made. And just trying to, you know, build the base back up. Other than that, um, not much has been happening. You can put sticks on the dirt, but you can't put the pointy sticks, and you would think it would make more sense to put the pointy sticks. But once I get these two iron uh, ingots, not ingots, it's nuggets, nuggets from these, I could actually build a an anvil. Uh, not an anvil, well, what am I talking about? I can... Well, I'll basically show you when I get it. <laughs> what am I doing? I should be knitting or something. A little tip on knitting. Um, make sure you just use the different colors all the time. The, the, you know, the wool you have... The, the wool color you have less of because it frees up inventory space. And that's the big thing you want to just do. You just want to make sure you have inventory space. What is that? Why? What was that? That's not fair. Oh, come on. Just don't... Don't scare me like that, game. Alright. Um, the game just gave me, like, a heart attack right there. So, just kind of want to check on my iron. Alright, they're good. Ah, uh, I just kind of want to do a bit of fishing right now. Um, yeah, just kind of de-stressed my mind. I wonder if the lily, lily pads right here, uh affect the fishing. So, um, if any of you guys know how Minecraft fishing works in vanilla, you, you could just literally make a one block source of water to get the fish. Um, that's a little cheaty. You know, so, and it kind of, a, it kind of exploity, so you actually have to have a decent body of water. I don't know what that size is, though. Yeah, and also it's pretty slow. And, you, and this is before the fishing update, where you get a bunch of loot from fishing. So you, you only get fish from fishing. I want to check on my iron, because that's uh, important to me. I decided to move my fishing spot over there. I, maybe I don't have enough space to fish really in there. I can't really tell. I don't know what's the like optimal fishing position. Yep, I got a fish. I should probably do more base building. Getting this whole area really, you know, built up. Yay, it's done. Alright, so you got four iron uh, nuggets, and you go like this, and you make it chisel. It's pretty cool. Uh, it pretty much is the like the next tier from the sharp stone. So the tiers are like 
the pointy stick, sharp stone, and then the chisel. And what do you want to do with the chisel? Is that you want to go to one of these like bottom bark blocks from a like a already carved tree? Uh, the tree. I think the tree can still actually be there. Like you just want to hit the bottom piece of the tree. You, you kind of notice that I've been ignoring like hitting those, and it's just because it's just because like you actually can't destroy the bottom pieces of the tree. It'll take forever and you won't actually destroy it. You have to build something else later in the game to actually get rid of them. So, I'm also stalling so I can actually- Yeah, there we are. So, you build a crafting table like this. This also uses a lot of durability on the chisel. And, now since I have a crafting table, I can actually build more things, such as a stone pick. Yes. Uh, I think I want to kind of dig down where that um, hole is over here. If I don't get it now, it's always going to tempt me, so might as well get, it, get my temptations over with and get the uh, iron now, I'll get this coal now before I kill myself trying later. Mm -hmm. And uh, the stone pick works real nice. Uh, it feels so great to actually get the stone tool, get like a stone pick. And a crafting bench. And something else you could do once you have it, you don't really need it. Um, like, you don't really need to use it a lot. So you could just like stick it into a block like that. But I actually want to take it with me. And I want to go over in this direction. Yes. So you can actually use the chisel on the cobwebs and it's a lot faster than the stone. So I'm just gonna do that so I can get more string. Kinda build the base up a bit more. Just get a nice area all cleared out. Does my food burn in here? Well I wasn't cooking anything so I wouldn't know. work a bit in the dark just so I can carve out this area a bit more. Actually it looks like it's gonna be gloom, might as well head inside. No, no I'm fine. Thinking with your head. Yes, I can mine stone. And it's so much quicker. Oh yeah, just to kind of say another thing. Uh, when you press F3, this is all the information you get. <laughs> you don't actually really get a lot of information. <laughs> so you can't really find your coordinates. You, you know, you can find how close you are to a chunk. Uh, to like a chunk. So like, I think right here is like the edge of a chunk. Put your basket. Put the leather back in there. Alright, yeah, so I just put the sticks and the coal to make some crude torches. So these are torches that you have to light up. You can light it up by using the fire starter, bow drill, or right clicking an already lit fire uh, source. And it's really cool because you can actually like use that torch to light up these other uh, ovens. Which is why earlier I said it might be a better idea to kind of use, like, get the coal to do that. The kind of nasty thing about these torches is that they burn out, and there's a spider. It's cool. 
Yeah, these torches, they, uh, they burn out. Which... It's kind of cool. Kind of big oof that they do. So, like, yeah, like, do you have this torch as a durability? It's because they will burn out eventually. Yeah, so I just kind of need to get a lot of supply. Also, these torches will set other things on fire. No! Ooh, that's... There's another guy over here. Yeah, so right now, uh, the next goal is to just gather more iron. And... Yeah, gather more iron. So there's like a... There was a cave around here that I said... That I thought might lead to a bit of goodies, but I didn't really like. I couldn't see anything from here, so I decided not to. And yeah, uh, I'm just gonna pop a torch down. Get another one. Gonna check out what's uh, here. In case of emergency, you kind of want. I kind of want to make sure I have a good exit. Might be a good idea to mine a bit more of that coal. But I'm always a player who likes to dip just a little bit further just to kind of see what's going on. It's nothing much really. So I'm just going to get the coal and dip. Leave. Man, I, I didn't build this well. I want to head over back to the other cave by the swamp. I want to explore there. I think that was a creeper. Uh, I want to go back to the other cave I found. Just kind of see what's there. Mm, yeah. Um, the recipes for the iron for like a iron pickaxe is still the same. So you still need three iron ingots. Except I smelt an iron that iron chunk, and I only get a nugget. So I need to get. 27 iron I need to find 27 iron ore to get 3 ingots to make a pick and I think I think making a uh, uh, iron pickaxe is my next goal I'm so good at losing these places how, how do I do it I, I can't find it I, I, I can't find where the no it was like over here yes oh man I hope so also, be careful, because if you fully submerge underwater, or if it's raining, the, tor the torches will burn out. Like, they'll, they'll just immediately burn out. So, yeah, be careful about that. Was this the hole? Nope. Over there. That was it. Yeah, here we are. Mm -hmm. And this is where the iron was. So, just to kind of show you, if I mine this out, boom. Chunk of iron ore. And now I want to collect. I want to collect 27 of that. Now I just need 25 more. Uh, this cave was not that fruitful than I thought it would be. Oh well. Wait, do all animals poop? I thought it was just the wolves. Is this another ravine? It is. Iron right there. I can't actually... You can see how the stone changes like color to a bit darker. That right there is just meant to like, kind of show that you're deeper in the cave. And also my, uh, my iron... That's not an iron, that's a stone pick. My stone pick I actually can't mine that right now, so Yeah, that's uh good to keep note. Uh I will keep note of this ravine, because this goes all the way down to the to the last level. So uh I, I it's probably an easy way to find diamonds. I I uh, uh, Oh, this is where I was before. I found it! I found it! Oh, 
Well, I guess I'm gonna s chill in a cave. Mm. You know that uh, stupid Minecraft parody, Don't Mine at Night? That's a lie. It's better to mine at night. Uh, the reason for that is because um, mobs will actually spawn on the surface because they can, because it's nighttime for them. Which means that they'll spawn less in caves, which makes it better to mine at night. I want to cut a bit more of bit of gravel for some slabs. I just actually want to make sure. Can I actually mine this? Oh, I can! Oh, that actually makes uh, life a little bit easier. Probably should have made another pick. Because 16 iron, that's uh, pretty good. Chill here for the rest of the night. I guess, because nothing else is really going to be happening. Wait for day to come. All right, so I'm back at base. Um, got a bit of iron there. Uh, let's just make a bit more tools. Yeah, just like another pick. Might be a good idea to make more than just one. Yeah. So I made myself some pants while I was camping there. Might as well just collect a bit more clay. Get more furnaces up and running. Actually. Like I said earlier, you don't want the torch to be underwater. That's how, uh, that's how you just lose it like that. Actually, what am I doing? I can actually... <laughs> what am I doing? I can use the torch and actually... Just... Wow, this is not a... I can use torch and just cook some stuff already. And that grew, so... Digging with a stone shovel around dirt will cause the dirt around it to fall. But... And also the grass to turn into this loose dirt that will fall. So you want to dig one below it. So... Something uh, cool. Um... I can use this as a nice storage for my... Yep, so if you have the torch, you can just light the fire like that. It's kinda cool. Um, if you really don't want to use your axe as a weapon, because the axe isn't really that good, like, you, you kinda want to use the axe for chopping down trees, and also, you know, you only have a limited amount of string, you can make a bone club. I think I will make a bone club and use it as a another fighting weapon. That's kind of cool. Aha! My my little falling trap that wasn't designed to be a falling trap worked. Cool little detail. You can see when the torch almost burns out. This axe is out of uses. So I'm just gonna. Oop. I bl <sighs> And the crafting bench is gone? Uh, yeah, that crafting bench is also gone. All my hard work. 
Uh, I'm gonna spend today uh, fixing up the base again. I thought I almost got it back up and running again, but you know, I, I, I guess not. I'm doing this so I can get the grass to hopefully spread to at least some of these. That would be nice. Uh, something... something broke. Oh! Huh. I didn't... Okay, so the ovens can set things on fire. Good to know. And this torch is dead. You can't... put fires out by punching them. Oh my god. It's a very dark night. Yeah, so I'm gonna just spend the next few days building the base back up. Hey, look at that! Oh, that's real nice! I kind of remembered that getting the stone pickaxe means that I can actually, you know, get a lot of gravel and get a lot of stone, so I can build stone slabs and gravel slabs for to base build as well. Also allows me to make a lot more space in my little hut now. That's it for this episode, everyone. Uh, I gotta run away from these creepers. Till then, bye bye.